Hi, everyone. Welcome to Art and Talk. Art and Talk is an online interviewing platform for artists to share their art, their creativity, and their passion. We embrace all the arts, the traditional arts and the spiritual arts, to bring you diverse and quality interviews to watch and to be inspired by. Thank you so much for connecting in with us today. We're continuing along with Spirit Week, our, our three-part series. Today is our third and final part where we've been looking at the art of spirit. I'm Leslie Sue, the host for Art and Talk. And today we're, we have a guest who is a spiritual teacher. She wears many hats and we'll find all about the different gifts of spirit that she has. And we're also going to experience some sound alchemy as well. So thank you again, everyone, for joining us today. And I'd like to welcome our guest for today, Kimberly Lay. Kimberly, welcome. Hello, welcome everybody. And thank you for having me on today. So yes, thank you for that um, introduction. So yes, my name is Kimberly Late. So I am a channel. I am a counselor, light language alchemist and spiritual sentient teacher, Reiki therapist. So yes, lots of hats. <laughs> so um, yeah, basically my background, it actually started first when I was a, a counselor. However, in saying that, I've always had a connection to spirit. So I'm a channel. I channel the beings of the light. So these beings are non-physical beings and they come through the ascension teachings. So what are the ascension teachings? They're teachings um, with, you know, esoteric knowledge, universal laws, the teaching of oneness, law of attraction to assist us to power our light. So it's basically a remembering journey. So it involves, you know, going into your inner shadows, what you might call as shadow work, looking at your limiting beliefs, raising your perception of self, uh, changing your perspectives to yourself and reality to align more to the oneness God state, which we all are. So as you do this process, what happens is that you start to remember your enlightened state because basically we're already enlightened. We've just forgotten. So think of us as a giant onion. And we're basically just peeling the layers off one layer at a time, right? Of, of amnesia to remember that we are God, that we are one. So that's the, the main premise of the teachings that come through me is that we're all one. So we are all unique frequencies of source. And through understanding oneness, it actually assists you to be more connected with your higher self, to remember who you are, to remember your life purpose here, right? So it's through that remembering process. So um, yeah, basically, when was it? I was an adolescent, actually, when I started to see the angelics. And um, yeah, they've been with me throughout my whole life. And then, you know, as a teenager, an adolescent, you're kind of, you know, as you go through life, you kind of put all that, you know, might put all that spiritual stuff to the side with my life. And it's allowed me to have certain life experience. And um, I went through this in my early adult years, or actually well, early 20s. I went through this transformational trauma. And through that experience, it led me to, to birth desire to become a counsellor, right? Because I wanted to help other people, you know, to help empower their life. And um, in this process, becoming a counsellor, which I did my bachelor's degree in, and then I did also a postgrad in relationship counselling, I discovered or remembered my ability of channeling because I'd be sitting there with my clients and all this information was coming out and I'm like wow I didn't learn that <laughs> and then I learned that that really counseling anyway you're, you're channeling because you can't we're taught to you know sit with our clients in a clean slate and then um you know be in the present moment and then just allow the information to come through so yeah I I developed that and um, many other spiritual gifts came along the way. So as well as me, you know, being a channel for these non-physical beings and they range for many different beings. So, you know, the archangels, the gods, goddesses, even ETs, um, yeah, ascended masters, Gaia, Mother Earth, Source. So basically when you understand oneness and you integrate the oneness within you, you understand that all beings are within you. So if you can know and really believe and embody the knowing that all beings are within us, you can channel all beings because we are all beings. And yeah, so with that, on that journey, I um, discovered also I can do light language. Sacred sound alchemy is what the beings of the light refer to it through me. 
And um, I believe this is also enhanced by my journey with Reiki uh, many more than 10 years ago as well. That also helped to raise my frequency. But it was interesting, actually. I mean, I'm mean, probably going to go into a little bit more about sound alchemy. But um, along my journey, it's, it's interesting, you know, when you do your daily meditations, right? You're, you know, I make my intention to connect more to my higher selves and, you know, general intentions. And I used to always do Reiki on myself, right? It's part of my meditation. And um, in this process, I just got the intuitive guidance to start toning. I was like, okay. I thought it was a bit strange because at this time I didn't really know much about light language. And um, yeah, I just started toning and these sounds came out. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. And as I was doing that, I could see like all these colors. I was seeing all these like psychic energy and, it, and this feeling of feeling high. And it was similar to Reiki experience. So I'm like, hang on, I'm not doing Reiki. I'm doing just toning. And through this process, I got visitation with goddess Isis, um, who happened to be my teacher in this life. She harnessed it. Like I would channel her and she helped me harness this ability. And because... And through her, she um, she showed me my history with it, basically. And um, she was my teacher in the Palladian system. Um, and also she was my teacher back in ancient Egypt in one of my other lives, you know. So, yeah, she calls a sacred sound alchemy. And that's what I've called it. But she might be better known as light language alchemy. So what that is... It's described as harmonies of creation, tones of the of creation, tones of the gods. They're healing and ascension source codes. So basically, I channel, and in this process, I was doing with goddess Isis because she would help to enhance this ability through me and teach me as I was doing it. She would teach me visualization techniques and so forth to help enhance it. And then I was guided to then channel the divine Elohim. So that's what I do now. I channel divine Elohim, uh, which are rays of creation uh, that create dimensions and they help. Basically, they fractured themselves and created more dimensions and all the universes. So anyway, but, but basically, um, when I channel them, I, I raise my frequency to like a light body. And um, yeah, the tones that come through basically help the listener and myself help to significantly raise the energy vibration helps to activate dormant DNA bring more light into your cells also and um, basically helps to activate your blueprint so what happens in sessions when we do it and I guess the audience will get to experience it today is that um, it really helps to to shift things so if you've got a lot of um, stagnant energy within you or your inner shadows it'll help to bring back to the surface for healing and and what i like to call it uh, i like to refer to it as meditation on steroids because it really intensely hits to the core and to the heart and a lot of people experience it with um they might have certain feelings arise within them People that are psychically sensitive, they might actually see energies or visions that's happening. So it basically helps to activate that dormant DNA to help us align more to our oneness state. And um, yeah, it's a beautiful gift that I'm honored to share. And um, yeah, one of the many hats that I do. And um, yeah, so I guess I'm just very honored to be here today. Very honored to, to empower, you know, people with these ascension teachings and these healing modalities that I offer. So yeah, pleasure to be here today. <laughs> oh. Kimberly, it's wonderful to have you here, and you gave us a great kind of overview of your uh, beginnings, um, you know, with the um, counseling and, you know, being attuned to spirit, and then with the counseling, some, you know, gifts started to come out, and then you just kind of stayed open with it, and then, you know, sharing a, a you know, transformational experience that you had that led you to want to, to be of service um, as well, and then how everything just grew, 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 and grew, as as um everything kind of moved on so yeah well you definitely wear a lot of hats and um you you share uh, many gifts of the spirit so um let's go ahead and um do the the sound alchemy i uh, have you uh, share that with us you you gave us a great setup of what it's about is there anything else that you would like to share about that before we experience that with you uh, yeah, so with this light language alchemy, they do have obviously the general effects that happen with this. 
However, you can imprint the energy. That's what I do when I, because um, I also, also also offer this as services as well. So yeah, so maybe we could think of now an intention for the sound alchemy session. So what's something perhaps, Leslie, that you think could be a good intention for this sound alchemy? Um, I think a good intention would be, um, I think maybe we could kind of keep it kind of broad if that's okay with you. Let's just focus on all of us raising our vibration through this sound alchemy. Anybody you know, who's watching at any point, um, I, I think that would be great. And, and uh, yeah, that'd be yeah. awesome. Well, let's do that. Raising our energy vibration and perhaps I'll just sprinkle in a few more intentions sure. that everybody listening to this will receive any downloads or activations that will assist them in whatever's needed for their highest good in the now. Let's do that, shall we? All right. So with this, um, now, Leslie, how long would you like me to go with this? Even um, though sometimes spirit, I sometimes don't know the time, but I can generally, because I'm an observer mode, I can usually um, pull back if you, when you would like me to finish. Okay, well, we have plenty of time, Kimberly, so we'll, we'll just go with the, the full gamut. All right, sounds good. With that, what happens is that um, there's usually a, a guided section in the beginning. This just helps us to, to prepare the space, so to speak. And then um, there'll be a period of time where then I'll go into silence. So I'll go into a trance state, and that's me channeling the divine Elohim, getting into that state and setting my intentions. And um, yeah, and then you'll yeah, just go along and, you know, you, you at home might wish to sing along if you wish, harmonize along, it's up to you, whatever you feel you're called to do in spirit. And um, yeah, just notice any feelings that arise within you, any thoughts that arise within you. Um, if you are familiar with meditation of practice with this, you will know that if something does come up for you to be the observer, just to acknowledge it. If there is some things that come up for you that perhaps are uncomfortable, just know that things within you that's coming to the surface to heal and transmute. So it affects people differently because it is powerful. And even though it is a meditation, it is an activation. So for some people, it might not be as gentle but usually people do have a positive experience from it. So it just depends on what people need to release. All right. All right. Well, in saying that, I will ask everybody to just close your eyes. There will just be a, a few moments of silence just while I get into the trance channeled state and to set my intentions for this session. So we'll see you on the other side. <laughs>
take a deep breath in. As you breathe in life force energy, as you exhale all that no longer serves you, any densities within you, programs within you that no longer serve you, as you breathe in and exhale, as you feel with each breath your body becoming lighter and lighter as you surrender to your breath to the life force running through you to the source essence running through you as your breath reconnects you to your being and as you breathe now and exhale Visualize the golden flame of light within your heart center. This golden flame is your divine source essence. It is your connection, your inner portal to your true divine self. It is the portal to your multidimensional self and all that is. It is pure source essence that connects you with you with the awareness of why you are here, the awareness of your God self, it is the connection with all that is within. And as you visualize this brilliant golden flame within you, you visualize a bridge going in towards this golden flame within. Now visualize yourself, a projected version of you now standing at the beginning of this bridge. As you now walk towards the inner flame within. And as you walk closer to this flame, you start to feel the love enveloping you within. You start to feel the warmth within. You start to feel more connected with who you are as you walk towards the flame. As you let go of any fears, any trepidation of you wanting to connect with your source essence. As you let go of any fears of your own power. Any fears that you have adopted throughout your multidimensional lives of embracing your power, of embracing who you are, as you let them go and as you trust the divine light, as you trust you, as you move closer now to this brilliant golden flame of source essence that is you. As you now approach it, you make the brave step, the courageous step of connecting with your source essence. As you step through now the flame, the divine flame within, as you walk towards the center and you look around you, all you see is brilliant golden light. And you feel this unconditional love residing within you, residing all around you as you remember that this connection is you, that this love is you, that you are one with it. And as you start to surrender to the flame within, the source within, the love within, you open your heart further. You open your arms wide and embrace the love that you are. As you declare to yourself that you are ready to receive the codes, and the activations to raise your frequency, to allow you to remember more of your love state, to allow you to remember more of your divine wonder state and why you are here, that you are God, that you are source manifested in a unique frequency, ready now to remember why you are here and the love that you are and to express it outwardly through you. 
as you open your heart now to receive the codes to remember, the love, the oneness that you are. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
святой, святой.
Take a deep breath in. And exhale. And as you breathe and exhale, notice the sensations running through your being. Notice the lightness. Notice the magnetic energy resonating from your heart throughout your entire being. Notice the tingling and the sensations. as you are now more connected to your source essence, to the oneness of all within. And as you breathe and exhale, notice your being expanding throughout all the cosmos, throughout all the world and all that is. As you are now vibrating in a higher dimensional existence, one that is more connected to the internal source self, to the internal source of all that is. As you breathe and exhale, visualize now roots coming down into the heart of Gaia from the bottom of your feet. As you bring your attention now to the bottom of your feet. And as you visualize the roots growing deep beneath you into the heart of Mother Earth and the heart of Gaia, the heart of the mother. As you breathe and as you visualize going deep beneath the earth, you see a brilliant rose pink light. Brilliant love. As you reach the heart of Mother Gaia and as your roots know, now enter this light, you feel this immense love moving all over you, within you, outwardly, within, in all directions. As she smiles at you and she sends you her love. Grounding energies, grounding activations to bridge the spirit and the physical in the present now as you thank her for this interaction. And as she sends you her love, the activations, visualize brilliant rose, pink and golden light move back up the roots beneath you as it travels back up to the bottom of your feet. So now moves up into your heart center and it creates an explosion of light, an explosion of light rays that emanates throughout your entire being. Just like the big bang, you explode in light and colors that radiates beyond your being, that radiates throughout all that is. And as you breathe and exhale and center yourself with every breath, know that you can visit this place anytime. Know that you are connected with all that is. Know that you are all that is. As you breathe and exhale and ready to awaken to a higher dimension, in your present now reality. It is with such love that we come through today to remind you of the love that you are and the oneness that you are. Farewell.
Hello. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. <laughs> wow, that was beautiful. Thank you so much for that light language sound alchemy. That was powerful. My pleasure. What did you experience, Leslie? Anything, any experiences you'd like to share with the audience? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Um, well, first of all, particularly with the sounds, Kimberly, um, that were emitted, they were so beautiful, so cosmic, so soothing, so just encapsulating. I could completely feel a, um, a whole almost like kind of like restructuring within my, my consciousness, my awareness. It was definitely a shift going on. It was very, very like just smooth. And, and I felt um, in the sense, you know, like so heavenly, like connected in with the angelic kingdom. The sounds were just exquisite, absolutely beautiful and just so soothing and centering. I mean, I could go on with adjectives. It was really beautiful. Thank you so much for that treat for us. My pleasure. And um, with this session, you know, the, the uh, effects will still continue. So just for you and the audience out there, um, your body's going to go through like a detox. So just listen to your body. Drink lots of water because you've received now a lot of energy activation. So just, yeah, listen to your body. Um, for some people, you may need to rest after this. For some people, you might have, you know, lots of energy. So it affects people differently. So just take note of how you're feeling in your body. Mm -hmm. All right, those are good tips uh, um, that you just shared. Thank you, Kimberly. A few questions uh, for you um, before we wrap things up. Um, one is, so do you feel that your purpose is the Ascension teachings? That's what you're here to do, to share the Ascension teachings, to help heal um, in the beings of the light that you channel, the non-physical uh, love beings. All of this awakening is... Do you feel like this is your concentrated purpose? Uh, yes, um, you said so eloquently. Yes, so with the Ascension teachings to empower others by empowering yourself. So it's not about telling you what to do. It's about giving you the tools to, for you to do your own inner work, for you to gain awareness of who you are naturally, innately, because if you don't know already, you are one and you are God. So it's a process of unlearning which is our limiting beliefs and fears transmuting healing ourselves so we can remember our purpose here in a oneness state so that's where true empowerment comes from it's about you discovering your own power for yourself and yeah i'm just very honored to um offer a range of modalities and teachings you know to assist you to to get there so you know um yeah and um i've got a range of you know uh, modalities as well so no matter what you're ready for you know and and in relations to this um i have many you know youtube channeling sessions as well out there and you know so you can wherever you are in your journey there's information out there so yeah i'm just honored to to bring these teachings forward and to help you remember your purpose and your power here mm -hmm. in your healing That's journey yeah, I love that message of empowerment. Um, I'm wondering, Kimberly, um, just uh, touching upon the ascension, um, do you see a wave in terms of your clients that come to you? Is there um, sort of like a, a theme that you start to see or patterns um, in your clients, um, you know, like certain months out of the year, certain years? In other words, I, what, what I'm trying to get at, um, do you see that a lot of clients are coming to you for certain ascension um questions symptoms um healings do you kind of see patterns in that um for people that are that are coming to you or kind of like the same thing but maybe they have a different variation on that and um also um if so if you could you know maybe share that with us and also in terms of the ascension do you have any kind of like update or or anything that you'd like to share that's that's um pertinent for this moment Sure. Well, um, yeah, the clients that come to me, whether they realize it or not, they all are light workers and way showers. When they come to me, they understand that they have a purpose, that they have a calling to empower others. Some people that come to me, they may not be aware of it, but there is 
part of them that knows they're here to assist others in the world, right? So that's the overall pattern of people that come into me. And um, in that, I mean, the word light worker and way shower can be maybe intimidating for people, but just know that, I mean, you can drop all the labels, but if you have a calling to assist others, then, you know, you're probably watching this, right? Because law of attraction. So if you're watching this, then maybe you are a light worker and a way shower as well. So yeah, with um, because of the range of modalities that I offer, it does vary. But um, like for instance, I do as one of the modalities, I do higher self readings, and with that, I actually channel an aspect of someone of the client's higher self. And when I do that modality, it's very much um, shining light on their particular soul missions here, right? So that's very much to do with soul purpose. So that's for that modality. And then I've got, for instance, the Ascension Channeling uh, sessions. And this can be just, generally, it's about letting go. So if someone's going through certain fears and the uh, limiting beliefs, it's about giving some insight about those beliefs. So they are able to, to step forward in their power and their purpose. So a lot of people do come with some insight, with some directions on their path, but perhaps they're a bit lost, a bit disconnected. So with the range of modalities that I offer in sessions, it basically just gives them more clarity and validation of just how powerful they are. And some of the, and the information that comes through really helps to, to activate, right, more of their divine blueprint. And, you know, the feedback that I've got with uh, my clients is that because of the result of the, of the sessions, they, they really get to step into their power more, right? The fears that they had in, in stepping forward in their way, show at work or purpose, that fades away, right? And yes, for some people, because depending on what they chose to explore here, a lot of people do have, uh, you know, a lot of limiting fears and beliefs within them that they need to be transmuted, right? So, and I help them with, and I help facilitate that process of healing, and that's a big part of what I do is the shadow work processes. And that carries over with my background as a counselor also. You see, um, if you want to remember more of who you are in your enlightened oneness state, it's not just about thinking happy thoughts, right? Because the traumas, the limiting beliefs, perspectives on duality, what happens is that that still stays in your energetic field, whether you're conscious of it or not right? So it's about when you're triggered by negative emotions, seeing that as a soul lesson, seeing the oneness in that if someone triggers you, then they are reflecting a limiting belief within you, they become your mirror. So it's about understanding, basically, the law of oneness, law of reflection, understanding law of attraction, other universal laws, and, and how reality works. And it's how it's a, an expansive life game here, they were all masters here, everyone's just playing a role here right, to, to come from spiritual amnesia to remember more of who we are. And that also ties in with what you said about the current stage of our awakening at the moment. So yes, we are going through a collective awakening at the moment. These, um, these worldwide events that we've seen over the last like year and a half or two years now, right? So you've got the, um, you know, the Australian bush. First it started, I remember the Australian bushfires back in, when was that? 2000. 2000 and was that 2017 and 2017 18 no a few years ago it's like you know what I mean time is an illusion right so that happened and then of course the next year after you got the COVID hit and then you've got you know for instance the US elections and all the other movements around the world it's not by accident that there's massive movements and world events is happening one right after another right so basically what the beings say is that it's a assisting us right to to ask those existential questions it is a purging which means it's for us so basically what's happened the last couple of years it's allowed us to really go within it's forced us to really get to know us what's important right so it triggered us so many people especially those of you who are sensitive you would have found that you, you know you're experiencing what's called ascension symptoms and part of the ascension process is purging symptoms it's basically think of us as okay think of us as lakes right oceans and lakes and think of like our limiting beliefs and fears as sediment in the bottom 
So what a purge does with these energy shifts that's happening, it's like it makes the waters unstable. Let's just say it kind of creates all the sediment from the bottom to lift up to the surface for us to address it. But the sediment is our limiting beliefs and aspects of us, which we have not loved and we've repressed. So our inner shadows are actually aspects of us that we have not loved and accepted. So as part of the Ascension teachings, it's about when these um, triggers come to the surface, which means when you have a negative belief or an emotion, that's a sign that you have a shadow coming up to the surface. There's an aspect of you that you have not loved or rejected. So the process is really turning it inwards, accepting all aspects of you and all of your, your past, forgiving if you need to forgive. And then as you can love all aspects of you, you turn that outwardly to love all that is outside of you because all that is outside of you is a reflection of you. So when you're triggered by negative emotion, let's just say by another person, you can practice gratitude knowing that they are playing a role for you to, to highlight a belief that's limiting, that's within you, a part of you that you have not loved. So it's a process of awareness and remembering and doing it in a shadow work. So with that, the whole collective is doing that and it goes through waves, right? Waves of this purging, waves of feeling maybe energetically high and being more connected, right? To, to um, the, you know, behind the veil of physical reality. So we go through these waves of transition when we kind of forget and we fall into the fear, into the amnesia, to victim mentality. And, we, and then you might go through waves of feeling very connected, right? To oneness. So it's a transitional period and it's, it's allowing us to ask us existential questions. Who am I? Who are we as a species? And it's, you know, um, it's, it's really what's happening. It's that it's allowing the collective consciousness to get to a certain frequency to open a portal, to allow us to move to the next stage of our oneness remembrance. And, um, yeah, and there's a lot of people that's talking about this at the moment. And, um, that is open, what you might call as first contact with our star brothers and sisters and everything that's been happening. And you might be seeing this, you know, in your news and um, certain things that's happening around wherever you are around the world. It's all preparing us for this moment because when this moment happens, when we as a species, when we as a human race know that we are not alone in the universe, it's going to activate a lot of people. And of course, in that, it's also going to instill some fear in people because um, people that have been attached to very uh, fundamental thinking, beliefs about who they are in the universe, um, will become shaken, obviously, right? But basically what I've been told is that this is, this is a pathway that all civilizations go through, part of the oneness remembrance journey, right? Because at the moment we see ourselves as separate beings, separate species, right? Country against country. But once we know that we are not alone, truly not alone, then that's going to help us move further into, to connect more to a run race, Right? So everything is happening for us. So um, you can get into all the, all the small print, but so really at this stage of our ascension, we are gearing up to that moment. And of course, you know, and, and a lot of you, your listeners might've heard about things that's happening um, out there, but um, it's a very exciting time to be alive. And everyone that is living now on earth, a highly advanced being. So whether you believe you are or not, whether you perceive yourself to be limited, understand that if you are living and breathing on earth right now, you are highly advanced beings because only the most advanced beings could actually reincarnate here on earth to, to raise the collective, to be here in this time of great consciousness expansion. So what's happening now is um, evolution, an evolution of our consciousness and in being. So we are shifting in every sense of the world of the word so yeah no matter what you're going through understand that it is for you and as you do your own in your work and as you learn to connect more of who you are and remember your oneness that you are actually affecting the whole collective consciousness you are raising the vibration of the whole planet and all that is so yeah it's um it's just one step at a time right but just know that everything in your reality is assisting you to remember that you are source, you are God. Yes, we are all that, just unique frequencies of the one. Mm, that was such a beautiful elaboration. Thank you for that, Kimberly. 
We do need to wrap the show up. So we would like to offer you the closing comments and please let us know how we can stay connected with you. And I know that you have coming up in July, you have a Ask the Angels event. So if you just want to kind of share that with us and, and let us know how we can be, you know, um, stay connected with you and however you'd like to close the show, please. Sure, thank you. All right, so yeah, um, basically you can learn more about me and what I do on my website at beingsofthelight.com. You know, I do offer a range of services. You can also, on my website, you'll find links to my YouTube channel. So if you want to get to know more about what I do with my channeling work, I have lots of um, public group channeling sessions up there. You can check that out. Also, if you subscribe to my newsletter, you actually get um, what we did today, a sound alchemy meditation, and that can be, um, you'll be able to access that as well. And um, yeah, I've got lots of things happening at the moment, lots of projects, lots of events. Yes, I have, um, I have in-person events here in Sydney and also worldwide on online events. So I do have an Ask the Angels event that's coming up July 3rd in Sydney. And you'll find that more information about that on my website. Um, and by the time that this goes to air, you'll probably, you, you, I have another event that's coming up. So it'll be Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, 7.30 p.m. Um, New York time. And uh, that's a, a School of Light class, class with Goddess Hathor. So if you're interested in that, by the time this airs, the details of that will be also on my website. But yeah, um, I have events quite often, both online. So people all around the world can uh, join in. And um, of course, in-person events. I also have a Patreon community. And um, this is a lovely nurturing environment where you can access a whole range of different content like the Sound Alchemy as well. And we've created a, a family network there. So it's a beautiful experience to co-create in there. So yeah, if you're inspired, check me out. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's, it's my honor to, to bring these teachings through. And, and you know, everything that comes through, um, whether it's channeled or not channeled, all this information, it's information we already know. It's just we have forgotten. So basically, you just follow the resonance. And what if something resonates with you, it's basically, you know, your higher self um, alerting you to this information is true. So it's like a resonance coming from within into your conscious awareness. So just follow the resonance. And um, yeah, and, and with all this, with this life exploration, you know, they always say as well is that we're here to enjoy the ride. You know, we tend to we tend to see life as very serious right but in the day this is a game an expansion game and once you can understand that everything is for you and that you co-created it all because yes we have soul contracts otherwise known as pre-birth intention so a lot of the themes that you have um exploring in your life maybe obstacles understand that you co-created this pre-birth for your expansion because that's how advanced you are and if you are going through something, understand that you have all the technologies within you to overcome and transmute this. Because what you find, just like it happened with me in my transformational trauma, you'll find that behind the trauma, behind the obstacles, behind your, your biggest fears is your superpower, is your gifts, right? So it's all been divinely created. It's a, it's a game here. So if you can you know, see what's going on in your life and your reality through the, through the eyes of that it's an expansion game, that you are a master, you've just forgotten who you are, you allow yourself to, to experience life more in a, in a free state, right? Because you no longer fear fear itself because you know fear is an illusion. You know fear is just a teacher to show you there's a part of you that you have not loved, that you have rejected. So yeah, you can just embrace more life more and live more in joy and harmony with all that is in remembrance that you are one. Mm, I love that. What a great way to end the show and enjoy the ride and remembering our oneness. It has been such a joy to connect with you, Kimberly. This has just been awesome. Thank you for sharing your gifts of the spirit and the beautiful sound alchemy. That was a real, real treat. Thank you so much. My pleasure. And um, thank you for having me. And thank you all that's watching this. Thank you so much, Kimberly. Thank, thank you. you. Yes. Thank you, everybody, for watching Art and Talk. And uh, we appreciate the time you take to watch our shows. And again, this does complete our three-part series on um, Spirit Week, looking at the art of spirit. We hope you do check out the other two videos as well. Thank you again, Kimberly, for being our guest today. It's absolutely amazing. Thank you again, everybody, for watching, and we'll talk soon.
on the next Arden Talk. Until then, be well and be blessed.